Well, welcome back to Dobbo's Fishing Adventures. <laughs> and look where I've ended up. The beach of broken dreams. So I did think about, che uh, not Chesel, sorry. I did think about Southbourne last night. Uh, I didn't fancy the boat this weekend. I fancied the shore. I was going to do Southbourne, but uh, I don't know. I thought, well, let's go that little bit further. It's not much further, is it? Southbourne to Portland. So I'm Portland down to Chesil. Uh, they give the weather coming in later on tonight. Hopefully it's a bit later than what they're forecasted, but it's now 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I've got here. And it's happy days. A few people along there fishing. No one really opposite the car park end. At Portland car park there. A little bit empty. One, two people further on down there. But no, happy days. Look at that, isn't it gorgeous? But the trouble is, being gorgeous ain't a good thing. But sod it. Let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. So I've got a mishmash of rods this weekend. Uh, I've got me Ziplex M4 GT, and obviously I've got me uh, Ziplex High Flex, High Flex M. Both coupled with the old Abu TSRs. Might not be the best reel of choice. Certainly is for distance, but uh, retrieve-wise, it's sl certainly slower than any of the pens and whatnot, but sod it. So ragworm, squid, black and mackerel. And let's see what happens. Absolutely glorious, glorious afternoon. Trouble is the fish probably won't feed. Water looks a bit clear, not great, but it is what it is. Be no different if I was down Southbourne, gin clear water. So here we go, right. Let's decide what rigs. Let's get baited up and let's get them out there. Bring it on. Well, that's it, the rods are out. Happy days. So I've got a sliding pulley panel, pulley rig on the, uh, the M4 GT with a six ounce lead, just give it a little bit more oomph, so to speak. Uh, and that at the moment's just got a squid and black rat. Sort of like a nice section of squid down through the middle, half in the head. Perfect. And the other one's got a three hook loop, just with rag on. So we'll uh, just see if there's any little bits and pieces, scratch for something. But yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. They said that wind was going to swing round to the south southwest, which it unfortunately has done already. It's only a slight breeze at the moment, but they are giving it getting up quite nasty later but we'll see hopefully it doesn't hopefully that don't come through until after midnight or whatever but uh it is what it is but yeah it's absolutely gorgeous down here even when that sun pokes its head out you know you can feel a glimmer of heat but it was very frosty drive down here and that was uh until i got to the top of portland it was absolutely thick fog virtually all the way from southampton so uh, yeah, as soon as I hit Portland, uh, it was lovely. Clear skies. Could see a good distance uh, out into the uh, channel. Yeah, nice. But very frosty in places coming through to Southampton. It's been a frosty old week, hasn't it? You know, temperature's a lot colder now, so hopefully that'll... Uh, Plummet the old water temperature down a bit. And if that water temperature drops, then uh, fingers crossed we won't have uh, so many eels about. Because congas do not like cold water, and that's probably why we're getting congas throughout the year almost now. And as I say, you know, winter times it was never unheard of, it was so unheard of. All these little stupid little poxy eels about. I mean, if you were cod fishing back in the day, sort of thing, you know, you might get the odd 30 or 40 pound eel out on open ground, but now it's just anywhere. 
anywhere you go. I bet I wouldn't be at all surprised if you flounder fish in you get a little scrap as well. Horrendous. But still, it is what it is. Is that glo global warming? Who knows? But uh, yeah, there's never been that amount of eels around. Beautiful, right, let's uh, sit down, have a bite to eat, chill out, and uh, I think I'll do bait checks every half hour at least, to start with. It's probably not that promising until uh, that sun goes down a bit, but you got to get a scent out there, so happy days. That wind's picking up like it said it would, so it's swung round to southerly now. So this is the first check. It's had a good soak. I haven't seen anything, I've been watching reasonably well. I'll say there's nothing on there. Hope there ain't too many crabs there. So I went with a three hook loop on this one. And then the one that I double patted there, that was just a normal two hook loop. Bit more of a ripple on the on the surface now what there was earlier mm, that doesn't bode well does it not really touched oh well it is chisel it is gin clear water and basically it's shite conditions but the thing is with this beach you just never know But then sometimes you do know. <laughs> but we'll see. Right, just going to get her back out. See what happens. <clears throat> Still not a sniff. Still not a touch or anything yet. Time for another check. Let's see what's happening. So this is the bigger bait. I'd say the conditions are, <laughs> are not good. Nothing on there. Still, can't beat being out, can you? Catching a fish is a bonus. Not even touched. Not even bloody touched. <clears throat> I'd say if, I, if I'm going to get anything. I think it's going to be after dark. Who cares? <clears throat> of course we all care, we all want to catch a fish, so... Right, let's get it back out there. Right, I'm just going to have a look at the scratching rod now, which ain't exactly scratching. <laughs> have a look. Nothing. Ooh, it's a bit.
bit nippy. the worms being touched. That does not bode well. That does not bode well in the slightest. Right, let's get this one back out. Here's the two rigs that I'm using. So that's a free hook loop. That's just got worm on. And then I've got an up and over with squid and black. Simple rigs. Try and keep it as simple as you can. Don't overcomplicate things and hopefully uh, they'll work. If the fish are in front of you. And at the moment, <laughs> I'm still blanking. So that sun's going down nicely now. So hopefully the usual shy fish will uh, come on the feed. See what happens. I'll tell you what, it's quite amazing. Literally, I would say probably 10 15 minutes of uh, that last cast. So that's only my second cast, so this is technically my third cast. Lots of both going absolutely crazy. It's incredible how things just switch on down here. Just that little bit of dust, and it's going absolutely mental. Even the bigger baits that are being pulled all over the place. So that's good, good sign. Long may it continue tonight, but we'll see. Yeah, we're just both just it's strange. As if someone just turned the switch on. Hopefully someone will come of it now, so bring it on. So I think I'm going to go for my third bait check now. Like I said 15 minutes ago, both rods are sort of like real bouncing away. And, you know, as if someone's put the switch. So, uh, and that wind's picking up all the time, which is a pain. But that's going to reduce my casting a bit because it's almost straight into here. Might not be able to hear me very well. I'm not sure if you can see very well either, to be fair, but let's have a look. Well, I don't know if there is or not. There might be something there, I'm not sure. Either way, bite's glory there was then. Oh, well, there might be something there. Might be something. Yeah, I would say there's something there, I think. Or is there? It was a little bit heavier. There we go. <laughs> I haven't played. Oh god. First of the pal. Probably can't see it. <laughs> Not the biggest fat in the world, but 
I haven't blanked, so that's good. Here we go, happy days. Right, let's get it back out there. Right, that one's back out. A little bit dark for you chaps, but next one obviously I'll have the light on the GoPro. As I say, these have got bigger rooks. So it'll certainly take a little bit more of a small fish to get on that. in that wind. I'll put my jacket on now. Give a bit of a chill out. No, nothing. Bad sail, getting by. And that's the only trouble with chisel. Shingle, where you wind the top of the bank, blunts the hook, so always make sure you check your hook point. They do get blown quite easily, but I thought I would do change them. Right, let's get it back out there. Well, the rods are going mental now. Literally within minutes of uh, casting. I'm just coming up for a bait check. But I might leave the bigger one for a bit longer. To the scratch. That cloud's starting to bubble up out there. I'm surprised we don't rain, so they are giving a bit of rain this evening, but we'll see. Hopefully not. No, that doesn't feel like anything. I think they're really small power at the moment. Oh sir, got some in there, another power. <laughs> there you go, little teeny teeny little pal. Phil! Hello, bottom hook's gone. Yeah bugger. Right. Get this free up loop out. Happy days. Well, that didn't take long. Had a nice bite on this. Don't think it's anything special, but. Got a bit of weight this time. within minutes yeah once you're on the bottom bouncing away That's what this is a little heavy now heavier shall I say what we got 
There it is. What that is? No way. Really? Absolutely ruined the frigging tray. <laughs> now that is a scrap and about. Oh, you little bugger. That's ruined that tray. Or has it? Maybe not. Take that. There we go. Scrapping about. <laughs> Bloody hell. Not good. <laughs> Look at that, another poxy eel. Jesus Christ. Uh, literally only just cast that one out. I was gonna do check on the other one. Uh, what a shame that is here. Yeah, look at go. Bloody thing. Yep, fish on. <laughs> It's got to be another reel. Literally, this has been out. Yeah, I'll keep it backing off. Literally, this has been out less than five minutes. I walk back up, bait the trace up, come back down, just stood there then, about to take the other rod in, and that just absolutely mullered it over. Let's put this way, I'll try to bait in a strap. <laughs> oh, what the hell is it on there? Is it a bag? What is it? Bait an eel? What's that then? Oh, that's... Now that's a pal. That's a better pal. I take that back. That's over a pound. Oh yeah. In comparison. Nice. I'm happy with that. Although it is only a pal. Woohoo! Nice. That's well over a pound. Whole thing I might even weigh that. Bring it on. Right, before I mess around with that power, let's finally get this one in what I've been wanting to do. There's a little bit of weight there then. there on this fish boat one. Let's hope so. Another nice pout, <laughs> not quite as big as that one. I mean, that's a, that's got to be close to a pound. Look at the size of that in comparison. Jumbo, right? Get it back out. Hee <laughs> hee. I've done a rigging on yet. 
beautiful. Hey, look. Right, let's get it back out there. Well, I've weighed that pound absolutely over the moon with that. It's not my biggest pound from the shore, but one pound fifteen ounces. Thank you very much. Now I'm well chuffed with that one pound fifteen ounce pound. And I'll be honest with it, it's just gone absolutely mental here at the moment. Literally within seconds of hitting the bottom, rattle, rattle. We've had a couple of ratchet runs, probably straps. But yeah, very manic. Well worth the, the effort and the drive here, so happy days. And it's only just gone six o'clock. Literally in the last hour and a half, it's just gone mental. I don't even know what uh, bait checks are now. I can't let him go, look, he's just rattling away. I mean, he's been going for the last 10, 15 minutes, but it's just unbelievable. Must be so many shite fish out there. It'd be nice to think there's something in amongst them, but we'll see. I'm just hoping that rain's gonna hold off. That'll ruin the evening. But yeah, absolutely, well, buzzing. Absolutely buzzing with that pal. Right, no point standing here talking because I'll be honest with you. It ain't time for a bait check, but it's just been bouncing away. There's no point in leaving it there. Let's have a look. Yeah, a little bit of weight there, I think. Yeah, definitely something on there, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think my biggest pound, if I remember, it was well over two pounds. Two ten, two twelve. That was on the island from Brook. Had quite a few two pounders, but that was officially weighed in a comp, that one. So. Brook, Avonfield, Bryston. They're good spots for if you want some monster pout and good fishing anyway, in general. What we got? Yeah, here we go. Another pout. Only one this time. And that's the problem, look. Bait's absolutely getting mullered now. Right. Definitely check the bigger one because I had a nice ratchet run on that earlier. Right. On that one. Get it back out there. Happy days. Don't think I've got anything on this one. I had a good ratchet run on it earlier. So I was messing around with the other rod. Southwest just had to just blowing in here now. Oh, 
because I haven't had any more straps. Touch wood. <laughs> I don't either, bloody thing. Number seven pal. Right, let's get the free hook loop out. Quite time for a bait check. Nice to get back to the normal times of bait checking now. It's gone a bit quiet, the tide's picked up, so uh, those fish aren't really running with the tide, so that's good. Gives me a bit of a break. But uh, let's get back to the normal half hour checks now. Seen a couple of rattles, but nothing like it was earlier, so that's good. Yeah, fish on, something on here, I think. Oh, that was manic. Hour and a half of madness. <laughs> oh well that makes it 10 pounds. Oh no, another strap. <laughs> oh well. Look at the size of that. What is the point? So he's just lip up. That's good. So what's that? Nine pounds and two eels. In fact. Done a bit of lip piercing and tied himself on there by the looks of it. Oh, bloody worm off. See what's what, I think he's knotted it. Or oh, it's twisted well. Anyway, I'll get this off now. I don't want to leave him on the floor because he'll probably mess all my trace up. Come on, you bugger. Which way are you? you get rid of that bloody worm? That could be the way. Now he's just woke up, now he's just biting my finger. Come on. There we go. See, he just had a lip piercing then. <laughs> go on, you bugger. Go. Right, get it back out there. He's <laughs> nothing like fishing the elements, is there? Jesus Christ. Probably won't hear nothing. Let's 
started. I knew they were giving the wind getting up, but in that rig away so another strap on the pouch so that takes in the temp out and uh, three eels right let's get it back out
one as well then. No, so this is the bigger, bigger bait. No, nothing on here. Well, I hope you're going to enjoy the video. I'm certainly enjoying fishing tonight. That cow was a massive bonus. I'm really pleased with that. Now it's time to uh, pack up the rods. Everything else is all packed up and uh, get back. As I say, I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe, share away, and once again, as always, thank you for your support. Until next time, that is Dobbo's Fishing Adventures, out at Chesil.